all right guys well I just dropped the kids off with their mom and uh, they're going to California and we're in New York it's the farthest they've ever been from me it's the longest time they'll they'll be away it's a little over a week feeling a little angsty about it do me a favor send some you know prayers and thoughts to them and they have a, a safe trip they'll be checking in hopefully you better be checking in as often as possible so so that being said I am down here at the river to try to quell some of that angst and that worry and get it out of my mind for a little bit. Targeting pike for the beginning at least and uh, we'll see how it goes. See ya on the water! Guys, the plan for today is going to be to actively walk the bank for a good hundred yards and try to find some fish. Starting off with this little flicker shad that we found. You might have seen it in our one of our videos. Found him in the river, as I do with so many of my lures. See that guys? Did you see that? Something followed it right up the bank here. Wow, that was awesome. Something almost took me right at shore. Got him. Smalley. Right at shore, guys. I'm pretty sure that's a smallie. <laughs> what? No, it's a pike. Yeah, baby. Little bitty pike. Come here, baby. Come here. Whoa. Woo. It's not that tiny. Oh, you got a messed up face, don't you? That's not for me either. There we go, guys. Here we go. Not down here even 10 minutes, I swear to you. Promise you. Not even 10 minutes. Little pike. It's probably, what, 20 inches, maybe? She's, uh, she's got a little messed up face, though. Poor girl. All right, thanks for coming by, honey. We'll see you later. Grow bigger. Come back and see me. I'll recognize you. There you go. First fish of the day, guys. Toothy fish, just like we wanted. On the flicker shad. Ah, second pike of the year, first pike of the day. She was a little one. Let's see if we can't find her mom. Alright guys, we're going to head over into this little culvert down here. I, I've never fished past this point. But there were just some insane happenings over there. Either something big chasing something little, or carp having a seizure I don't know but before we go over there I want to show you this it's a little freshwater little freshwater clam thingy here a little freshwater mollusk here I think he's alive oh maybe not yes he is look at that you see him spitting water out of that little crack there yeah I've tried to use these guys for bait before. Didn't have any luck. Hmm. Maybe we'll come back for him. We'll see what happens. Well, guys, it's been about four hours since I got that pike. And I have had one smallmouth on and then one smallmouth off. And I've gotten nothing else. So right now I'm drowning a worm. I'm going to continue to throw. Um, I lost my one jig, so I have another one that a buddy made me. So I'm going to throw that for a bit and, I don't know, it's been a rough day. Alright, the good old classic worm on a bobber. 
you can tell I'm getting desperate. I saw some carp jumping out there. I'm hoping one of them likes that. What is this? It is literally a message in a bottle. Look. In a peanut bottle. Best Buy 1027.17. So we're good. This message has not expired. Let's see what the hell this is. It's kind of nasty. Really? Oh, look at this. That's something else. What the heck? Really a note in a bottle. Yes, launched on 82617 from Shenango Bridge, New York. Tag number five. Please contact father son bottle at gmail. Include the following tag, condition of the bottle, and if it was relaunched. Thank you, John and Mark. Alright, let's get all this. This is pretty cool. This little tag here. It says please email father's Sun bottle at this when found. Tag number five. Condition of the bottle. So am I supposed to relaunch this? Continue polluting. That's interesting. From Shenango Bridge in New York. So it's traveled a little ways. I'll go home and track that. That's kind of neat. Alright, hopefully this is all on camera so that I can relaunch. And uh, <laughs> have somebody else find it. Father, son, bottle at Gmail. That's pretty cool. I wish the kids were with me. I, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm definitely polluting. Let's put it off at the point. Send it off. What's what's one little bottle gonna do in this disgusting river? Really? That's pretty neat. All right. Fairly well. Bon voyage. That's something you don't see every day. Pretty cool. In other news, I have been up and down the stinking river and I'm having a terrible time catching anything since I first got here. I mean, I'm even, I'm even throwing a worm now on a bobber. That's how desperate I am. I have tried everything. I have tried spinners, I have tried crankbaits, swim jigs, hair jigs, I tried a clam, I have tried everything today, it has been bad. With the exception of course of that pike and of the message in the bottle. Where's that is? All right, I am running out of battery. So if I am fortunate enough to catch anything, you'll see it. If not, this will be the end of the video. And if it's the end, thank you for watching. I'm sorry I suck at fishing. There's a fish, guys. There's a fish. Oh my God, oh my God, the smallest baby pike that I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so tiny. All right, we're very lucky that those hooks missed your gills, mister. That's crazy. Look how small this guy is. I have never seen a pike this small in my life. Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's very pretty, though. Very pretty. <laughs> there we go. She's a little cutie. Little baby. <laughs> Start with a pike, end with a pike. I can't get you all the way out there, honey, so good luck. There you go. It's a fish, guys. We got two fish today. <laughs> and a message in a bottle. Alright, I'm going to throw just a little bit more. Then we're going to go home and email those guys about... Uh, about that message in a bottle. All right, guys, I just want to give you a little update on the bottle situation. So I emailed John and Mark last night, and they replied to me this morning. 
Um, they launched from Shenango Bridge on the Shenango River, and the bottle traveled five miles down to the Susquehanna River, and another four miles to the point that it was first picked up, which must have been day before yesterday, at the 201 Bridge. From there, it traveled another nine miles to meet me. So 18 miles in two days, and that river is pretty low, so it's not running nearly as fast as it usually is. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I, I should share that with you guys. And uh, John, Mark, if you're watching, thanks for sharing that experience with us. And good luck with your experiment. See ya. Thanks for watching. Thank you.